You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to have you today to check out these four different banks, each unique. I thought maybe put them all together as opposed to separating them into four videos. So I'm going to have one longer video. But before I get to that, I do want to say thank you for stopping by today. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you're a fan of banks, I think I'm gonna make a bank playlist. So look in that description. You can check out all the different banks I've shown on video. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Now, this is not all of them. I'll show you all of the banks. But let's do these four today, plus the bonus item. And it is the Coinulator. It's a handheld game that I picked up at a sale somewhere. Had to fix the battery compartment to get it to work right but it is working and it keeps track of your coins and you can play games on it. So when I come back, oh, by the way, if you can share this on social media, Instagram, I've been posting more there, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, that would really help. Now, if you see one of my posts there and you give it a like or a reshare, that also helps. So let me do this. I will come back with bank number one, bring out some coins and we'll see how that one works. All right, here we go. Bank number one found at a garage sale, I believe, a state sale, something like that. It might have been 50 cents or a dollar for the bank. Now I could not test it there, but then realized when I was testing it that it's very finicky and it could just be that it's dirty because coins going through it. But the mechanism, as you can see in the back, is controlled by that arm, which pretty much tells which way to go. There is no date and nothing on the bottom, but it does say a patent number. Let me see if I can zoom in there a little bit. And then manufactured by mag inf, mag dash inf, something like that, uh, comma inc, and mentor Ohio. So does that exist? I don't know. And sorry for any glare there. Let me just get back to the bank. And then, so you have $10 and quarters, $2 and nickels, and then your pennies fall here 50 cents, and your dimes fall here $5. This slides, well actually just push down a little and open it up. And then you could just take your whole roll of coins out. I don't know if you can put the actual paper in there. Some of these you can. And then as you can see now, you also have a money slot right here to put larger bills in, or maybe your collectible coins that don't fit in the top. So. I decided to bring in a tray. Why? Well, because it makes a nice chingly sound. So if you have headphones on, I'm going to dump. Now there's some surprise coins in here, which I saw earlier. I buried them. Maybe by the last bank we'll get to them. Okay. Ooh, one came out right there. It is a token. Should not even be a coin. I'll put that in my save my token space later. Oh, you know what? I have a dollar here. Watch. You just kind of take it and put your money in there. All right. So coin-wise, now watch what happens. This one sticks. Haven't been able to figure out why. Could just be that it's old and dirty, right? Quarter should go now. Oh, that worked right in the quarter slot. Now the nickel should fall down in this side. Ah, nickel sticks. Oh, and the nickel went in the quarter. Now that should not happen. Let's try it again. Let's try another nickel. There we go. Another quarter. Now a quarter, I'm guessing, with the heavier weight works the best. Let's put a penny in. Ooh, penny, you should not be going on that side. You should be going on this side. There we go. Dime. It looks like I might have to work on this one a little bit. Maybe I'll revisit it later, but right now I just wanted to show you the bank. Yeah, see, that should not be happening. There we go. You know, could it be the weight of the coins from old coins to new coins? I don't know. I could test that theory out, but for now, let's just get through the bank and then look from the back. Ooh, quarter. You've been working so good. There you go. Nickel. Nickel worked. So I guess it's a hit or miss on this one. Penny. There you go, buddy and a dime now so we've seen them all from the back and the front oh dime should go this way i might have to work on this one oops let me do this it should go in there there we go 
but I won't do it in today's video. I have another bank that I'm going to show you today, which I did spend probably a good two hours to fix, but it was a broken piece, completely broken up. All right, let's see, close up. I guess we should just stick to the quarters. They seem to work the best. Here we go. This is a, oh, look at that. That is not a quarter, is it? Not from the USA. This is a Canada coin. I'll put it in my, well, let's just see if Canada flies through here. Uh-oh. It worked. It's still fun to watch, especially on the quarters. All right, now I'm not sure if lubricating will help because that'll probably dirty everything up. So I'm not gonna do that. I'll just assume that it needs to be played with this way. All right, that's cool. All right, bank number two. I'm not sure which bank. I'm going to, hey, you shouldn't have gone there. You go up here. I'm not sure which bank I'm going to do next, but we will see. Oh, totally the wrong side. The dime did not want to cooperate. All right, well, I think you get this bank. Pretty cool. I've seen these in other colors. So if I ever find more, I will. Let me move on to the next bank. All right, bank number two is a mechanical bank, which works pretty good. His arm is just a little bit off. It's not as level as it should be, but I can show you how it works. And then, of course, this is a reproduction. You can just tell how it's put together. Look, there is a regular Phillips screw. Definitely not vintage or old in any way. And then on the bottom, it's a dead giveaway, made in China. And then the stopper and then the screws on the bottom also will indicate. But you just pull this out. I was testing it earlier just to make sure. And then sometimes to put these in, I kind of have to bend it in but there you go and I have it on this board just because I don't want this to scratch my tabletop all right real simple on this bank I have more mechanical banks I just need to find them they're somewhere so I'll do a quarter first so you just put your change up there because he's actually asking for change see what I'm saying it's kind of not as level as it should be and then you just pull the lever like your organ grinding here and not human organs that is a mechanical sound organ. I wonder if I can tilt this arm up just a little. No, see, it wants to... That's another indication how poorly it was put together. Okay, come on, rest on there. You gotta kind of just find that right balance point. Here we go. Goes right in the slot. Thank you for your change. Get a little close-up of him working. Of course, organ grinders are no longer used that I know of. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Because it was not, you know, the best life for a monkey, I would think. You see them in sometimes the older movies, right? The black and whites or the silent films. All right, so that's pretty much that. You just kind of give him his change and whoosh, there's a regular screw there too. Definitely an indicator. You got a puppy, a kitty, and a monkey. That's what I see. What a combination. Tug at the heartstrings. Can I have some money, please? Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't tell me. There we go. All right. That is a bank number two. What do you think about that one? Did I give you a good look around? An original one? Probably very hard to find and expensive. Reproductions, you know, they're still nice to have if you collect, but don't want to have a huge investment. And there you go. All right, let's move on to the next bank. All right, bank number three. Hope you're enjoying these banks. Now, this one here looks like a financial institution. And by the way, I did drop my lighting down, so if it seemed a little darker or grayer, that's why. And then, because these look like pillars that are holding up the top of the bank, and then you have a coin slot way up here. And then this is actually a pattern here. You can feel this, it's ridges, it's not flat. And then the side of the bank. I did not see any name information or anything on these banks. Now I've seen these, quite a few of them in different sales, but this one here opens from the back. You just kind of pull this down and then you take your coins out. And then let's just see, I believe it's 10, 25 it looks like 10 25 here let me hold up 10 to 50 cents and five dollars that's the ratio there for what you can store in it does not look like it even has screws to come apart it's all glued together so good luck trying to take this one apart 
All right, let's get some more coins out here. I promised you some coins. Here we go, headphone users. Get ready because I'm going to dump a load of coins. Ooh, I see the coin I was trying to get. Well, there it is. This one here I found in this jar of coins. Now, this will definitely not... Ooh, it does fit. I am not going to send it down because we'll have a problem with that. I'll keep that off to the side. I believe there's some wheat pennies in here and some older coins. That looks older. 1966, it looks like, or 60. Just one of those just coin jars that I had laying around that everybody just throws coins in. There's a wheat, a wheat penny. And it looks like a 1970 quarter, yes. That's cool. This one looks really... It's, it's actually 2001, but it's seen better days. Look at that. All right, here we go. If you're into saving money, maybe you'll like this bank. I'm not sure. Let's just see how it works. Quarter. Okay, so some here, somewhere here it's dividing which slot. It goes in the first slot. I think that's the dime. Let's see. Yes. And then the penny. And then the nickel. And then the quarter. It's working pretty good. Okay. Let's see here. The gears are actually easier to see back here because it's not as deep. Pretty neat little mechanical bank here. This is kind of all show here. It's hitting this one but moving those. It's doing that on all three levels. All right. I'll just do a few more of these, but I think you get the idea. I don't see any money storage here either where you can keep your dollars like that other one. But look at that. So all your coins are in there. Really nice. How about a super, super close-up without the glare? There. Here we go. I'll have to zoom the camera in for that. All right. I'll just drop some in and you can watch it go through. Pretty neat. And then I'll do the bottom part. Nothing jamming up. Seems to work really good. I like this one. Hope by the end you have made your decision on what you like. Or you could say you like them all. Or maybe I'll put a poll up. I don't know. Sometimes I say I'm putting a poll up and then I forget to do it. If I do, uh-oh, then remind me. Say, hey, you said you were going to put a poll up. And I'll try to get to it right away because I always check on videos first thing in the morning. So tell me right away. And what I said... And if you see a spelling error or anything on my videos, let me know. I try to fix those right away. I'm not offended by that. I make mistakes. Especially when there's almost 6,000 videos. Law of averages means you're going to make mistakes. Okay. All right. I think that pretty much wraps this one up. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think? Now on to the last one. Now, the last bank I spent... Whew at least an hour or longer to repair. So I will come back with that last bank and then I'll wrap it all up with all four. And the bonus item. Okay, I'm on the last bank. This is the Sesame Street Big Birds Mystery Bank. Now this one... I have a good at least hour fixing Big Bird. He was broken where this mechanism wouldn't work. I had to completely take him apart. Oh, let me show you. He comes right off. He slides right off of this bank. So now you can have him as a little toy. Now he doesn't stand up too well on his own. Two uh, security screws and then I had to rework his tail. So there's a lot into this one. And there's also a year, fortunately. This is a 1986 children's television workshop. Muppets Inc. Now this one, unfortunately, is missing the bottom to hold all your coins in. But he works. A little finicky, but he does work. So let's just see. Here, I'll give you a top down of this bank. Oh, by the way, let's get some more coins. Let's see if we can find any cool coins in this collection. Now, hopefully there's nothing else in here. Like fuzz, or you know what I'm talking about. 
That's basically it on the coins. Oop, right here, look at that. Where's that from? Oh, that's a regular coin. A regular quarter. Well, maybe not regular in some sense, maybe. Okay, maybe you can look at that and show me. I don't know. This is kind of like the family coin collector. All right, here we go. So, what you do, and it helps to actually hold them. I'll put a quarter on. It seems to work pretty good. You kind of hold them, and you go like this. And then it's supposed to go in there. We will see. And then it travels down, all right? Of course, without the bottom, I won't be able to store much in there, but let's just get a shot here. Let me do it, yeah, this way. If I hold them like this and go, ch -ch 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 -ch, there's a little spring mechanism in there I had to rework and fix. But I think like any old bank, you know, it's been used a lot, probably slammed down to where, you know, that's probably why he was broke. Works pretty good. Let's try a penny. Here's your lucky penny. Hopefully it goes in first try. Nice. Now the dimes have the hardest time. Maybe because they're just light, smaller. Ooh, went right in. That's cool. All right, so this one, like I said, needed a lot of repair. And then everything down here should be stacking in the bottom, and then you pull it out and get all your quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. Now, there's no other storage in this one like the blue one. That's what I like about the blue one. You can store other unique items in that little storage area. So there you go. Let's see. One more time. This will be the final here. Let's move on to the bonus item. Nice. And I'll be right back with that. All right, here we go. The coin you later. Now, this takes three batteries, which go in the back. And then uh, old school battery compartment, so that's telling me it's a little older. There's no other information on this. And then there's a reset and then a speaker. I wonder if this actually was a slot to put something in to keep the batteries from working. Hmm, that's an option. All right, so let's see. A couple things you can do here. You can just turn it on. Okay, now it's on. There's a little plus sign here. Let me see if I can give you a better view of all this. How's that? That better? So you can see what I'm doing. And then, let's just say, you have some change. And you're learning... Oh, there's that piece of fuzz I was saying. There's always pieces of fuzz in the coin jar. But check this out. I noticed this as I was playing with it. All of the representative coins fit. So visually and feel-wise, you'd be able to feel what they are. Just by learning the size, I guess. So it's a multi-purpose type toy all right so let's just say someone says count this up for me okay so you know you have a quarter so you can kind of visually do this watch a dime you don't have to do it in any order penny and then a nickel so that's 41 cents now we want to subtract so someone's going to give you a nickel back so minus a nickel minus a penny minus a dime and then minus your quarter. You're back to zero. Here's your speaker. So you can turn that off so if you don't want to hear it. I kind of like it. Now listen to the dollar sound. I think it's kind of like money going like that. Okay, so there's an oops button. Let's say you put in a quarter and you're like, oh, it's not a quarter. You can oops that out. It's like a clear. Here's the game. So now I have to make $8.01. Here we go. Now there's multiple ways to get there. Way to go. See, he's happy. Now I gotta do $7.10. And I'm gonna go over now. That's too much. Try again. Okay. Let's see if I make a mistake. So we'll let me minus. Way to go. There you go. The only thing I think I need to figure out now is this one. I think this lets you just do the same thing kind of before. So it's just letting you calculate. There, and you could just turn it off. I'm back on. How cool is that? 
831. I don't even know if you can find this nowadays, like on eBay, but it is a pretty neat little toy. Way to go! Good learning tool if you're learning coins. All right. Let me come back now with all the banks back out here and this, and then I'll wrap it up. All right, I am back. Which bank did you like the most? Maybe you liked all of them. I'll give you that option. I sure do. I think they're all interesting to learn about and check out. I'm just trying to make this fit a little bit better. Keep going. Oh, yes. He tells you if he wants you to continue because you're not playing the game. All right, so I have 19 cents. And what do you think about my coinulator? Pretty interesting little toy. So overall, are you a fan of banks? Let me know, and then I will actually make a playlist for all the bank videos that I've done, because I've done some other cool banks, and one day I'd love to just get all my banks into one video. And that's kind of what I've been saying for a lot of things. It's just hard to gather them all when they're in different bins, and I try to combine the collection like that, but just sometimes things get out of hand. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Remember, it would help greatly if you can share this, promote this, thumbs up, Give it a heart. Whatever social media platform you're on, it would help tremendously. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.